This is the video where I'm going to teach you how to not die to stupid things just like this. I've been playing Fortnite a lot recently. As a matter of fact, I just got off right after this death because I had this guy so pieced up really nice and then I get third party. I am only going to be showing you guys Instagram worthy clips. These tips are going to be from a while ago and pretty recent, but these are going to be some of the really, really good clips that I posted on my Instagram and some that I'm going to post on my Instagram. My socials are linked down below. If you want to follow anything, go check it out. Don't forget to use sport creator code Kemmy's in the item shop. This is a really great way to support me and I appreciate everyone who uses it. This guy was hiding in a corner so when i was running up to him i instantly stare him off and then look to try and place the wall to block him off completely you want to make sure that you're running left as you're confirming this window edit this is exactly what anyone making a window edit needs because it makes you a way harder target to hit the reason why i opened up an entire edit like this was because the guy just shot his shotgun if i open up this entire edit he's not gonna be able to shoot me back because he just shot listen to audio cues just like this that will help you in fights double smack and even triple smack and i do this often in arena and honestly i don't get shot back that much there's gonna be an in-depth tutorial coming but sometimes double smacking or even triple smacking a wall is the right play because it keeps the pressure up as well as gives you a chance to grab the wall the first time then you take him off guard and instantly slide that cone in there for a nice kill i'm just gonna point out all the smart things i do in my fight so that you guys can use these little small tips and tricks to kill people way faster when i'm rolling up to this guy what i do is i instantly just swap to my pickaxe and swap back to my shotgun to fake him out and see if we'll make an edit and i can shoot him in pre-fire this is an edit that i don't make too often but it's not necessarily a right hand peek what i did was hug the wall as much as possible with making this edit because he won't be able to see me as much as I could see him. This is a 50-50, but it's actually more in my favor because I could see him more than he can see me. Once he shoots, I knew that was the best time to take him off guard by smacking at that wall and running in with a cone. This clip is pretty dirty, but it starts off with his first kill and then there's another kill later. Whenever someone's being sandwiched in a box just like this, they're always going to look to just charge at someone. If they don't kill one person really quick, they're going to end up dying regardless, so they always send. That's why I shot and then jumped up so that way I get out of that box and I avoid that whole situation. Notice how when I exploit into a guy's box who's already weak they're gonna try and run themselves so what i did was as i jumped in i placed a cone above this box so that he can't go up this is what made me get the kill because once he realized he was screwed i instantly smacked that stair and placed my own cone and finished up the kill whenever you kill someone instantly make a new box so you can always have a clear escape route and not get stuck on someone else's build this guy seemed pretty patient which is the reason why i was hesitant to make an edit on that wall originally no matter how good someone is if you wait at the perfect time to do this exact move all you do is shove a stare in their face and then you can piece them up just like this such a good move i talked about this in my box fighting tips and tricks tutorial as well instead of going for a shot i placed the cone so that i can completely trap him in and he's forced to box fight me. this is completely in my advantage and the only way he's gonna get this control back is if he takes the wall so once i reset i hold the wall so that he can't take it himself because every time brick or metal is reset it is always one shot then i execute a nice right hand peek and do the same thing i just talked about I hold the wall and then i get to kill see how patient i am even though i have some someone completely boxed there's no need to rush anything because if you do it the wrong way you're gonna be the one that's not in control anymore this play is absolutely dirty i'm box fighting this guy with a parasite in my head it's a little tricky because you can't jump or anything without flying all over the place once i took his wall i instantly placed a cone in there and reset so i can get a better shot why would i want to go for a 50 50 if i just take the time and be patient just like i said you reset and then go for a different shot notice how i was holding the wall after i reset though and then i ran it and then i make this edit on the cone so he and shoot me once you do that the next edit you want to do is make this dorito edit on the cone he plops right down on my face and this is such a clean kill for instagram okay so it's a 1v1 in an arena for the win a small tip that you want to do whenever you knock someone out is to never stop moving so that they get really confused on where you are notice that when i chopped this guy out i ran across this entire floor and then it caused them to miss the shot then what i did was jump off shoot him and then build new piece control keep in mind what i did here was what i've been preaching for the longest time on youtube every time you cone tarp like this you want to make sure you extend your cones out extra distance just like this and then place the wall it looks so much cleaner in clips and this can attest to that this starts out with some pretty basic building techniques i'm simply trying to get height on this guy but once i realize that he's running away every time that someone tries to tarp around you and you are above them always look to snake down and place this wall notice how when i place this wall i'm doing it from almost the floor that i'm on and then i drop down this is exactly what you need to do to get sneaky piece control on people keep in mind how i made this wall edit and I started on the bottom and then dragged up instead of doing it the reverse. So my crosshair placement was really good. Notice how I shot the guy. I build the wall and it blocks his shot. Then I go for peace control and boom, what a nice Instagram clip. This type of move is super, super satisfying. I've been trying to preach this so much. I want this guy to drop down on my wall. The second he does that, I instantly full box him and then I give him no time to react. What I do right away is start spraying my AR to keep the pressure up on him. If you do this slow, he's going to make an edit and you're going to get shot.
that. You see how even though I'm being fast, I actually made this edit and did it really slow. And I realized that he had his shotgun out ready to shoot me. Because of this, what I realized I needed to do was play around what I got. I reset the wall and realized that a window edit here would be beautiful. I could have went for a different edit after that, but this was such a good clip, man. Such a good clip. I'm on the run here and I'm weak. I'm stuffing builds between me and him, so he's gonna have to break a lot of stuff so I can get some heals off. That's exactly what you want to do when you're weak. Common sense would tell you to not break the wall in front of you. I predicted this guy trying to run around this wall. I look over, place the wall, and it blocks his shot. Then what I did was make an edit on the wall that he was not in front of. Think about it. Whenever you're staring at something directly in front of you, you could be expecting it, but are you going to be looking at the wall to the left of you, or are you going to be looking at the wall directly in front of you? That's the beauty of having two boxes on someone, because they're going to have no idea about which wall you're going to make an edit on. I always do the right wall, though, because it takes them off guard just like this. The second you crack someone, they always just seem to jump for some reason. That's why I instantly ran in and slid a cone right under his feet and got the nice kill. This is a great Instagram clip because not only did I hit him really hard at the beginning, but I predicted his movement at the start of this fight. I've never done this move before, but it's actually super, super useful. This is a very simple but unique way to keep moving and land shots at someone while peace controlling them. You see how I got the wall in this guy and any edit I were to make, it would be kind of awkward to shoot him and then reset really quickly. What I did was continue my momentum, place the cone after I edited the wall, shot him, and then place the floor to block the shot. If I run that back in slow motion, you can see how I never stop holding W and I'm always moving, which makes it really hard for him to see where I am. Here's a small, very unique tip. Whenever you're trying to take someone's wall and you don't get it the first try, what you want to do is shoot your shotgun, then swing your pickaxe and try and claim it really quickly on the second try. Because you shoot your shotgun, this is going to make the wall less than 75 HP, which means you're going to be able to take it in one swing. This is a common box fighting technique that I use a lot that actually helps me get the wall the second try instead of the first. This gives you a very good way to keep pressure up as well. This wasn't a crazy Instagram clip, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not just going to leave a clip out if there's something really useful in it. I want to teach people in the video so that they can get better and not be frustrated when they play Fortnite. Quick reminder to hit the sub button if you're liking these videos. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subs by the end of this year. Oh man, this piece control is dirty. This guy's running up to my wall and just notice how I instantly try and go for the height. What I actually did was place a floor and a stair so he can't see me drop down on him. Because I stuffed more than one build between me and him, he wasn't able to see me drop down and that's when I shot him for 100 and placed the wall to block any return fire. After you crack someone and you place a wall in front of their face, what you want to do is run around that wall and double cone up and down and place a wall for this very sexy piece control. Notice how I continued my movement the entire time I was running through that box so that it made it really hard for him to hit me if I didn't kill him in that last pump. This is a pretty good Instagram clip, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I'm box fighting people and I have a wall open just like right here, I swing my pickaxe just once so that I can try and get them to bait and open up. What I'm trying to do is make them open up so I can pre-fire them and then place a new wall outside that box. Because they're in their own box, they think they're safe, but if they made any sort of edit there, I would have been able to shoot them and place a new wall. I read this guy and tracked him going up. So the second I did that, I turbo built a wall above me. Then I edited through and placed a cone above his head. I shot him, but just realized how I didn't go all the way in that box. My goal is to try and get peace control on someone, but unless I have them fully boxed in my own tarp, I'm not just going to run right in there. That's a 50 50 that I try to avoid. You see how I'm doing this move all the time? I placed two cones up and down and then a wall. I thought he was in this box right next to me, so that's why I pieced that up. But just realize whenever you're trying to chase someone, you always want to do this strat. Regardless, I run in here, get some more peace control, I finish up the kill. Pretty nice clip, I have to say. Some quick Fortnite IQ. When you run up to someone's box and you're one layer below, a lot of times what they're going to do is run out the second you're approaching the box. What I did was act like I was going to continue running, but stopped when I was more than one box away so I could shoot this guy and place my own wall. I exploit in, but now I'm not in a good situation. Notice where I'm going, how I'm moving to the right instead of going to the left. I place a stair through the window so that way he might get stuck underneath it. If I move to the left in this situation, he would have saw me with his right hand peek. Because I did that, now I'm playing even smarter. He's going to try and wait to pre-fire me, but what I'm going to do is place a wall right in front of his face. Always look to do stuff whenever you're in an awkward situation like this. Then it was just a nice 50-50, but pretty clean clip, I do have to say. I turned the situation around in my favor. Here's a very smooth example of how I'm double smacking walls again. The second I claimed the first try, I have no hesitation. Instant cone in there. Once I crack him as he's in the air, then I run in and make up any sort of cone at it. It doesn't matter. The objective is to throw his crosshair placement off so that way he has no idea what's about to hit him. You see how because I made 
that edit, he was falling down, which makes it really hard for him to hit me. If you're him, ain't no way you're lining up a shot and actually killing me with it. Here's an example of where I know someone's in the box below me, right? He hasn't claimed the wall yet, so I look so steep down at a really, really sharp angle so that way I can get the wall and then go for peace control. Notice how he's breaking it though. What I did was play it calm and then try and hold the wall as I'm falling so that way he can't claim it back. I didn't get a shot on him, but in situations like this, this is exactly the IQ that you're gonna need to get the hit on them first. Now this guy's one shot, but I'm also kinda weak. Notice how I made the window edit and I got really close to the wall. Whenever you do this, you wanna back up slowly so that way you'll have the best angle to shoot them first. Because he has left hand peak, he is never gonna see you first. Do exactly what I do here in any window edit situation and you will get the kill. Here's another fight where I'm gonna talk to you about IQ stuff. This guy's in a box and I'm one layer up. What I do is spray my AR as I'm falling down so I'll have enough time to get in front of his box and have a chance at claiming the wall. If I didn't spray my AR and I went for a pickaxe, I would have got shot hands down. Notice how I'm doing the cone strat where I do up and down cones and then a wall whenever I'm turning a corner. I've been using a lot of metal so as I'm falling, I'm keeping that in my head and I switch to brick midway falling. Changing mats like this is useful because this guy's building out of metal which means I want to build out of brick so when I kill him, I get more mats back. Notice how I let him open but I'm actually hugging his wall as a right hand peak. He can't see me. Then I go quick boom shot and then build a wall. If you're ever in a situation where you're trying to take someone's wall and you end up getting it but you're on a stair. Whenever you box fight someone always try to do it on level ground which is the reason why I claim this wall. I jump up and place a floor and then do the edit. That's because it will make it so my crosshair placement super super good and he won't have any angle to see me. Very protective window edits and I secure the kill here. When you run up to someone's box chances are if no one shoots first they're gonna make an edit on you. That's why I pre-fire him and then place my own wall. I give him no time because what I do is I exploit right in after that because once you reset brick or metal it's one shot and that's just the opportunity I need to jump in with my pickaxe. This guy looks a little bit scared but you see how I'm chasing him away? Because I did the cone up and down as I was turning the corner I ended up having this nice piece control. He tried to go up in elevation but I edit the cone and he comes right in my box. You see how doing these cone up and down things is actually super useful in every single fight I talk about. Last but not least remember that these top right hand corner edits are the best edits in the game. So simplistic, so simple, and very easy to pull off. This is how I was able to secure this kill even though I was so weak. Come to the streams if you guys want to see more kills just like this. I record a lot of my stuff on stream and it's actually super fun to interact with chat and I say hello to everyone who comes by. Shout out to the Instagram one last time because this entire video is pretty much centered around it. Check out kenbeans.store link down below and shout out to everyone on the screen right now using code kenbeans in the item shop. At 4.30 a.m. I'm going to be going to Florida for four days but I got videos scheduled and planned. Everything is going nicely. I'm going to take a quick, quick little break but there's still going to be videos on Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Facebook, your sisters, all that. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.